This is a really cool time of year at Jake Wolf. Spring is really fun, actually. It's the time of year we typically go out and collect northern pike to spawn them, and we've already done that. And now we're in the middle of spawning um, muskie. We go out to North Spring Lake, we set trap nets, we bring the fish back to the hatchery so that we can control their spawn. We want to get four or five or six or ten, if we can, females to spawn at one time, maybe even one day. We want to be able to collect all those eggs at one time so they hatch at the same time so that we can get them to grow at the yeah. same rate. Okay, Bob. 1,022. Girly. When the fish come back to the hatchery, the first thing we do is we take a length and a weight on each of the fish, both males and the females, and we also check the females to see if they're flowing. And by what we mean by flowing is, are they ready to spawn already? Because sometimes the females are actually ready to spawn right from the lake, and they don't have to sit in the hatchery and warm up, and then, then the ovaries develop. We grab the females with a net and then actually squeeze their belly as best we can without damaging the eggs. We're getting somewhere in the neighborhood on average of about 30,000 eggs per spawn. We're gonna take the boys and we're gonna try to collect the milk out of the males and put them in test tubes and we just plop the test tubes in ice. And then we're gonna take the three test tubes per bowl. So we got three boys fertilizing one female. And then we'll pour it in on top of the bowl. And then we get our little feather and mix it up. And then we add some water. And as soon as we add water, bing, that water stimulates the milk to start swimming around in order to find this tiny little hole in the egg in order to fertilize it. And after about 60 seconds at the most, we've got all kinds of fertilized eggs. And then we're gonna put them in incubation. And they'll be there for about 10 days, 12 days, you see how golden the eggs are. You know, it's just great. They're tiny little babies, you know, it's wonderful. And that's that's our future, you know, right there. Those are the future, the fishermen right there should be happy to see that in a bowl because that will become a 12-inch fish by, you know, the 1st of September.